This unit is Test Your Mobile Customizations. It is the fourth unit on the Salesforce mobile app rollout module, which is on the Salesforce Intermediate Trail. Uh, my name is Jeff Alhadith. You're welcome to join me as I go through this unit. Uh, if I come across anything that I think needs a little explanation, I'll link to it in the description below. Otherwise, um, here we go. Uh, before I get started, if you're a subscriber and you're noticing that I'm wearing the same shirt, you'll hopefully also appreciate that um, I'm doing these on the same day because I'm doing two units today because I have the time to. Um, and uh, not just like I took my shirt off and just tossed it on the couch and then put it back on the next morning. That I, just, I mean, if you do that, that's fine. I mean, I work from home, so there's whatever. I mean, people think of that, you know, but I actually do get dressed. So I, it's just inappropriate to share. But I, I mean, well, no, I mean, whatever. I'm just moving on. List best practices for your mobile design. Explain why it's useful to pilot a Salesforce mobile app before the official launch. Test your Visual Force pages in the Salesforce app and properly test your customizations. Bring your use cases to life. So you got the green light for your mobile rollout. Yay! We knew you would. Now it's time to move on to the next stage of your rollout building and testing. By this point, you've probably already spent some time customizing the Salesforce app, so it suits your company's mobile use cases. In this stage of the rollout, you put the finishing touches on your mobile masterpiece and test what you've built. Remember, as with any Salesforce rollout, build and test customizations in your sandbox or developer edition account first, then move over them over to the production when you're ready to launch. Design a mobile friendly experience. Hopefully you've checked out the awesome resources that we mentioned in the previous unit. They can help you tweak the Salesforce app and mold it into a powerful tool that lets users get work done fast. As you customize the app, think about things you can do to improve the mobile experience. So how do you provide a good mobile experience for mobile users? So how do you provide a good experience for mobile users? Mobile design is awesome because it forces you to think differently. Phones and tablets have small screens, so pare down to essentials and prioritize what really matters. Cellular connections can be slow or spotty, which means you have to maximize performance. When you're finalizing your mobile customizations, keep these tips in mind. Less is more. Less is actually better. It's not more. That doesn't make sense. But For your page layouts, consider the screen size of a mobile device and move the most important information to the top only add the fields that are truly necessary. The best practice is to include five fields or less on a page and definitely not more than eight. Build for speed. Think about performance when adding custom elements to your pages. Are there images or processes that can be can cause slower page load times? Users are less patient with performance on mobile devices, so streamline your content and keep your page elements as lightweight as possible. Think about tap targets. I don't know what those are. Consider how users interact with your mobile devices when creating custom pages. For example, buttons are easier to tap than links. Okay. Tap targets. Things you could tap on. Embrace mobile capabilities. Uh, embrace your children. Embrace your spouse. Embrace those you love. Mobile capabilities. Think about the cool features available on our phones, location, detection, camera, Excel, camera, accelerometer, and more. Accelerometer. An instrument for measuring acceleration, typically that of an automobile, ship, aircraft, or you have an accelerometer on your phone. Are there ways to take advantage of the unique capabilities of mobile devices? Hmm. If you'd like to learn more about uh, best practices for mobile design, check out some of the links we included in the resource section. Optimize your Visual Force pages. If you have existing Visual Force pages, it's possible to make them available to mobile users in the Salesforce app. You can just click a box, check a box to enable Visual Force page for mobile. See the resource section for a how-to guide. But Here's the thing, usually it's not that simple. Visual Force pages aren't automatically mobile friendly in the mobile app, and when you're testing, you can have some issues with your existing pages and custom apps. 
Fortunately, making your Visual Force pages look great in the mobile app is relatively straightforward. You can either revise your code so that your pages work in the full Salesforce site and the Salesforce app, or you can create mobile specific pages. If you want to use Visual Force pages in the Salesforce app, your new best friend is the Visual Force Guide and Best Practices section of the Salesforce mobile app developer guide. You can also check out the Visual Force Mail logo. I'm fine. Test your customizations. Once you've finished your setup tasks, you've reached a huge mobile milestone. That's not a milestone that keeps moving. That's a, a mobile of related to mobile technology accomplishment. Right. You have a prototype of your own customized version of the Salesforce app. Now it's time to get into the prototype and test, test, test. After that, test some more. Did we mention that you should test? All kidding aside, we can't overemphasize the importance of testing, although they just tried to. You don't want any nasty surprises during your mobile launch. Be sure to test the app on every type of mobile device and every operating system your employees use to access the Salesforce app and then test again. Okay, sorry, last time we're officially done nagging you about testing. Of course, we realize it's convenient to do quick sanity checks from the desktop without having to pick up your device to test each change. Luckily, there are device emulators from Apple and Google that allow you to develop iteratively on your desktop to work with a mobile app on a device emulator, download and install the appropriate SDK for your support devices. Apple iOS simulator for, oh, this is cool. I've always sort of wondered how to do this. Seriously. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna check that out. And now brace yourself for a big old warning. If we could write this in neon with flashing lights, we totally would. Running the Salesforce app in an emulator isn't supported for normal use, and it's not suitable for full testing of the app on your organization's supported mobile devices. Regularly test your app on every device and platform on which you intend to deploy. Fine. Pilot your prototype with users. Now that you have a working prototype, why not show it off? Before your official mobile launch, you should pilot the app with a small group of users to get early feedback. I'm sure it extends your rollout time a little bit, but the input you receive is incredibly valuable. Pilots can help you validate your mobile use cases and identify opportunities for new ones, streamline your customizations and catch any gotchas, collect FAQs that will influence your training, train your group of power users, and advocates before the official launch create an initial buzz about the mobile app. Buzz like caffeine, good buzz, not like bee buzz, which if you raise bees, then that's fine, but most of us don't like that. Gain more stakeholder and executive buy-in with early wins. Gather testimonials and success stories to use in your marketing communications, community materials, fine. Find your pilot users. So which users should you be involved in the pilot? Of course, I definitely want your super users to participate for all the reasons we've already explained, but you need a wide variety of perspectives and opinions. That means you should also include your resistors, the Salesforce users who seem to fight you every step of the way. Yes, you love your Salesforce prodigies, but your rebels are just as important. You have to be prepared to hear all the potential complaints and pain points related to the use of the mobile app. And if you address those concerns early, you'll turn your mobile rebels into your biggest fans. Do I have to say cheerleaders? I, I don't, I don't like cheerleaders. It's just not, it's not like, I don't know, whatever. Okay. I don't need to explain that. Pausing, doing the quiz. Hmm? What? Hello? Ah, oh, phew. I mean, I thought the quiz questions were easy. I was wondering where I was thinking for so long. Thanks for watching.